that's how you remove the radiator fan all those uh, good morning everyone and uh, today we have a Volvo Volvo excavator EC 140 VF and the problem is a cooling fan fall off and uh, this is the first time I'm taking a look what's happened and let's go check it out I did some research and it's known issue on the Volvos. In 2007 Volvo did an upgrade to the radiator and fan hubs and they changed to the better design. This is an old design and bolt broke. Now we have a fan down inside the radiator shroud and a hole in the radiator and to replace the radiator that's a couple hours of work instead of just 30 minutes to replace the hub. Unfortunately we have damaged a radiator yeah let's get it fixed and it will be interesting and uh, one day at work I'm going to take you step by step and cover all important steps and you will see what parts you need to remove and get that repair done easy put something cushy on the floor because you don't want to lay down and sit in on those metal sharp fabricated holes and uh, yeah that will be easy okay could be two scenarios one is the worst what we have when the radiator is damaged and then we need to do way more work and a simplest one if you only have the broken bolt and fan just fall in we just need to undo the hub from the bracket and uh, pull the fan out and reassembled with a new bolt new bearings and new pulley probably if it has a damage i will put a link down in the description below how to rebuild the radiator fan hub on Volvo excavators, it will be pretty simple. As you can see, we need to remove the reservoir, remove the, all those covers, and get down to the fan hub and remove the radiator itself. A little bit of work to do. Get your tools ready, make sure you have everything you need, and yeah, just follow me. I hope it will be helpful. Let's go underneath, and we need to undo a few bolts down there and also check a few things. My entire idea to make this video as simple and short as possible. Make sure we're not going to miss any important step or detail which might do this repair complicated. Okay, I have a central door open. Let's open the side one and get access to the uh, mounting bolts and the drain cock and other components underneath. And um, yep, take those bolts and... Uh, let's see what we have there just pull that door down and we have the bottom radiator hose you see the coolant leaks from that coolant loss at the from the bottom of the radiator after the damage happened and those are shroud mounting bolts we only can undo when a radiator will be pulled out see more coolant there's the expansion tube from the reservoir down there and there's the more bolts those ones we'll do later and the um, thing is to get the radiator loose and get some play okay we need to undo those four mounting bolts from the bottom of the radiator bracket let's remove those guys break them loose and remove them see my excavator was parked in a certain position a swing and I cannot open the door unfortunately all the way but it is what it is we still can do it and go there with a ratchet let's go outside and start continue at the top okay we need to undo the uh, cover from the top of the radiators there's a few there's a AC condenser oil cooler and our coolant radiator for the engine L remove that cap it is uh, latches as well undo those bolts put everything inside and sort the parts make sure you won't miss anything see a lots of debris okay all those uh, hoses and electrical connector to the coolant level sensor needs to be disconnected and um, if this video is helpful very appreciated if you subscribe if you want to do that it's totally up to you but it's nice if you can do that Thank you so much for doing that.
and I would recommend you to sort all bolts and nuts separately. Make sure you won't run into the issue and find which bolt came from the place you need to put it back because we'll have quite a few. Okay, remove the upper radiator hose from the expansion reservoir, undo it from the thermostat housing, and uh, yeah, if you have any questions or something might be not really clear, please put your question down in the comment section below and I will be glad to help you much as I can. And uh, we still have few hoses attached. Let's get that small one as well. And before we'll get there, undo the uh, coolant uh, level sensor, remove that from the shroud as well because that re reservoir needs to come out. Yeah. I will speed it up a little bit because if I won't do that it will take probably like three hours but we'll try to fit everything into like 40 30 minutes probably and undo the mounting bolts for the expansion reservoir and pull those ones two on front two on the back remove those guys and uh, this is not so complicated but you need to kind of follow certain pair we need to remove the engine hood and everything will be easy accessible plus that needs to be removed that hood before we can remove the expansion reservoir because you see that brace across the reservoir okay there's a number of bolts all the way around undo those bolts and that way we can remove that hood I just call it hood because that's a cover for the engine bay. Okay, we have those r bolts removed. Be careful, it can be a little bit bulky and heavy. And just to close it up and remove, just carry it away. And that way you can continue with other parts down. Just to put it aside, I put it, make sure on the side, make sure it won't fall down. Remove the rubber insulator put it aside and now we can remove the expansion reservoir completely yeah that's a fan hub issue on Volvo's is known problem I would recommend you once in a while just uh, take a fan belt off and check the condition of those bearings at the hub and uh, better might switch to the new design take that uh, rubber insulator or s rubber spacing from the top of the radiator tank or the upper radiator tank and I like putting in fasteners whatever I have like bolts nuts in the same place where they came out that's way I don't need to think which bolt came from where and kind of will make the installation assembly process easier I put all parts around just make sure they won't be on my way yeah something like that guys let's remove the fan guard there is a two 13 millimeter bolts we need to remove them and uh, I will make another couple episodes they will be shorter and in second one we'll go through that uh, fan hub rebuild procedure and uh, how to replace the bearings, assemble everything, install the new pulley to the hub, change that uh, left threaded bolt. And the third one will be our installation process. And uh, installation is opposite in reverse to removal, but I would like to pay attention to the certain points. And we're also going to replace the belt tensioner as well. And let's stay tuned, watch this one to the end and you won't miss anything what you need to know how to do it right and if this video will help even one person that will be awesome okay we have our guard out and the, to pull the fan assembly from the shroud we need to undo two bolts at the pulley side you see it's not coming out because we have not enough clearance to do that but what I did, I'm going to do, I just place it in a position where I can reach those 10 millimeters bolts, undo those ones, uh, just easier with a wrench to get there and crack them loose and remove those bolts holding the fan tower to the pulley. That pulley 
actually has a damage on the side we'll show you that later but yeah undo those bolts and we will be able to pull it out i looked online before i started doing this repair i couldn't find much information i decided to contribute a little bit and that might become helpful to someone okay we have one bolt out there's a few more left undo the same way the rest and that tower will come out from the hub and um, yeah as i said we have some damage to the pulley and pulley will be replaced as well and um, i hope that won't happen again and machine can run okay whack it with the hammer slide and get it separated and yeah it will come out just because it has been sitting probably since 2007 never been replaced yeah just undo that pulley from the hub tower and uh, yeah you see that part of the broken bolt and that left threaded bolt caused all the damage it broke and this kind of failure design and lots of stress on that bolt and they known to fail yep pulley is not good we see our fan fan is not good it has a broken section needs to be replaced you cannot use the fan like this won't have a proper balance sink and um, yep seems like it's okay on the rest of the impellers but nope we need to put a new one okay but uh, yeah what oh, is what it is and we also have a cut on a upper radiator hose but it's not all the way through yet yeah this is our pool you see that part of the inside lip is gone and pulley needs to be replaced as well and there is a hub and uh, you can see the bed bearing on outside and the part of the bolt just which is like will be replacing but the housing of the hub is still fine we'll just uh, put in new bearings as well it seems like bearings are okay just a bolt failure and now we can i contacted local volvo dealer and they ask for five thousand six hundred dollars for the new radiator quite a bit of money and there's two ways to do it you can take the ra radiator to the radiator shop and get them fix the radiator will be like thousand dollars probably instead of buying a new one for five five thousand plus dollars yep let's undo that hub beautiful day it's not too cold not too hot just a pleasure to work outside in the woods a lot of fresh air smells so good okay and we need to continue and uh, yeah we have our upper radiator hose with a slight cut and uh, our thermostat is there just put a paper towel make sure nothing will get inside the cooling system keep everything clean and now time to remove those four hex screws clean the heads make sure your hex key will fit fully in otherwise you can strip those heads so easy and that will be a nightmare you can turn your day into the bad day yeah clean them well and yep before you started i cleaned and i washed as well make sure they're just easy way just a second two extras and then you won't have any problems stripping those heads and um, yeah something like that so yeah clean up is important part of any repair i would say never assemble dirty and greasy parts and everything needs to be clean and use a hex key socket to remove the bolts yeah Pull that, break them loose. Yeah. Let's pull the hub out. Yeah, see, just only one bolt left, and here we go. This bolt, this simple bolt, caused all the damage. And uh, yep, ten dollars, five dollars bolt, and we have a few thousand dollars with the parts to replace. See this bolt? This is why the Volvo updated with a new design that fan hub because this bolt is known to fail that's a serious 
kind of flaw design and uh, that shouldn't even happen but you see that bolt broke and they break they break over time and uh, what you can do just to replace them regularly and uh, make sure it won't happen on yours and uh, yeah you have parts laying down on top of the roof this bad boy caused a problem just a one small bolt caused a serious damage that will be probably ended with a few thousand dollars in repairs just a bolt we moved back underneath and now the time to remove those four mounting bolts for the radiator down to the bracket we just broke them loose cracked and now time to remove them completely but we actually could do it at that point but it doesn't really matter let's get them out and uh, yeah let's get back to the top and now we need to undo that uh, small cover plate for the oil cooler there's uh, four bolts undo those ones and we're getting to the outside part of the assembly and we'll need to remove the plate there's actually um, bug screen at the front remove that part and pull that screen out we need to get that first before we can start working on at the oil cooler side and we're going there yeah that's a kind of step-by-step -step process and uh, see the screen it's very important to maintain the screen clean make sure we have the air flow through the radiators there's a radiator for the coolant there's a air cooler and also ac condenser they need to be ventilated and breathe properly and as you can see lots of dirt build up behind that cover plate that needs to be maintained and cleaned regularly don't neglect that and i like to put my mounting bolts in place okay now we're at the side of the excavator we need to remove those hydraulic lines uh, down to the hydraulic oil cooler just clean the connectors make sure no dirt will get inside the cooler and uh, yeah as you can see the bottom is a 16 mil just break the bolts loose and make sure you have the oil collecting reservoir or canister underneath because some hydraulic oil will come out from the bottom it's not much but you will have some oil leaking out just keep one bolt like one quarter of the threads make sure it won't just splash as hard out and just let it slowly drain into the container and uh, yeah you don't want to spill any oil on the ground and use a spill kit pads and as you can see it's no pressure there and uh, yeah we don't, we're not working actually on the pressure side it's just a return and um, yeah see i put a paper towel inside and plug, plug that hole and now i'm just bending it up there's a like soft rubber hose and strap it up to the another hydraulic line and we'll keep that in place up make sure it won't leak and that will help me to keep it away and uh, give me extra room this is actually <laughs> probably a very common repair on those Volvo excavator because there's a hubs issues known all around the world and uh, surprisingly there's no videos on YouTube how to do that but now we change that okay just to put a clean shop rag or towel inside the cooler hole and keep that clean from getting any dirt inside place a spill kit towel and collect the rest of the oil which might keep dripping from the cooler and that's will be fine now we're going to the upper line and we need to undo those so there's a hex screws just break them loose in the same way as we remove the bottom one let's do that same way simple as it is and uh, yeah that's a process you need to remove that oil cooler before you can remove the engine coolant radiator that's kind of design you have no choice you need to get that removed as well there's no any other way around 
and see because most of the oil is on the bottom of the cooler it's all drained but place the rag inside make sure it's clean and nothing will get in as well okay now we have access and we should remove the mounting bolts for the oil cooler there's a uh, four bolts two on each side one on the bottom one on the top on the left hand side it's a little bit easier to do them because you have plenty of room and that's more simple yeah one side is done and now we're at the right hand side and as you can see it's pretty tight area will be just behind the weight plate and be careful not to get your socket get stuck against the plate and better go with the open wrench that will be easier yeah see it's there is the bolts were removed yeah one more on the bottom just reach that guy with the wrench you don't want to get socket drop down or stuck behind yeah that's gonna happen just that's happened actually to me I learned my hard way yeah wrench is the best yeah it's pretty comfortable position half a day you just can lay down and do the repair it's not too bad okay we're done with the oil cooler for now now we need to disconnect the bracket for the engine coolant filter just yeah need to move it aside because that's will be on our way next thing we're going to disc like remove we don't need to remove we need to just undo the few bolts for the ac condenser don't disconnect ac lines air conditioner lights because they're under the high pressure there's a ac gas inside the lines just we need to undo the bolts holding that in ac condenser to the mount that's it just remember just put those bolts back don't lose them because they're all different we'll have the bolt missing and that will be a hard time to do care okay, get those bolts removed as i said i think it's just 14 mil you can get there with a the ratchet and remove those bolts and there's the only one way to pull that ac condenser out there's a pretty tight space special on the bottom if you uh, try to get with the, any other wrench it's it's pretty hard but i know you can do it if i can do it remember guys you can do it as well and uh, yeah same on, on another side and uh, yeah it's, it's, you need to be careful around that line or those lines and make sure you won't damage anything and uh, as you can see lots of dirt and debris build up on the bottom okay yeah remove the bottom one and uh, yeah there's a sequence you just need to follow i needed to figure it out there's no actual manual or anything will just way you do it to just yeah take that to rubber insulator and carefully work it that ac condenser out and get it just tilt forward and enough room for the oil cooler to come out you see they're pretty tight fit but you just watch me doing how i'm working it out that will you give you some kind of visual idea how to get it all out because that's all like a one sandwich and uh, i think we're we're doing pretty good all right we're at the top now remove that bolt for the radiator mounting arm remove upper bolt and then one bolt on each side now we're going underneath and we can completely remove those radiator bolts which we just got loose and loose that bottom board for the support arm you don't need to remove that and that's what we need to see we need to have that play and that will allow the radiator to come out but first of all we need to just tilt it a little bit forward and pull the hydraulic oil cooler out that's a sequence you do 
let's pull that aluminum heavy cooler out and uh, as you remember we got our AC condenser move it forward a bit just enough for that oil cooler for the hydraulic to come out okay now we just we need to check if any coolant left in the radiator I'm just doing in a sequence as it is and uh, probably it's empty because we lost almost all coolant from the radiator and uh, let's see if, well maybe a little bit there nope okay now we need to disconnect undo that uh, low radiator hose but we have some engine coolant inside the engine block and yeah get your catch can ready and yeah i have a bucket and torque okay now we have everything's disconnected drain the coolant and we can just pull that radiator out get a lift or ex another excavator crane whatever you have available and pull that radiator out there is a two points to attach the radiator on the sides it's sort of like a um, high ring and uh, yeah just pull it out and it should be fine it will come out yeah just watch the hoses watch the how it's going out if you do it slow you don't need to rush it should be fine yeah just wiggle from side to side it might not come out right away but you need to play with it a little bit but eventually it will yeah something like that it took me a few minutes to get it fully out and yeah thank you so much guys it's not the end yet but i appreciated your time watching okay here we go we have that radiator removed already and as you can see it's on the ground we have everything's out now we can undo the shroud and get everything's ready to repair it actually that radiator still can be saved we just will take it to the radiator repair shop there's a bolt on both sides of the shroud as i said you only can remove them when you have the radiator out there's a few bolts for the radiator to the radiator bracket cross members and yeah that's an engine and um, this is the first time you're doing the radiator on the Volvo EC140 and that's needs to be cleaned up and we see lots of debris, dirt, leaves and, as well to, and all service for the hub and next video will be how to get the hub rebuilt, put a new bearings and everything there. <laughs> that's how you remove the radiator. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions or you don't know how to do certain things please ask down in the comments below and i will film a second episode how to install all parts we removed today and i might make a one video or maybe removal and installation and uh, yeah this is uh, what we've been done today subscribe to the channel and stay safe see you soon